Yo, what's up, everyone, and welcome back for another video. It's a familiar concept. It's familiar video. It's a mailbox cleanout. I'm gonna look into my mailbox to see how much gold I've made and how many items I've sold, and talk a little bit about some of the items that are of interest in there uh, to see where I got them from, um, and then obviously you guys can see what sells. Uh, because after I did my road to 10 million gold challenge, um, where I did cleanouts like these pretty much every single week. Uh, I was unsure whether I should continue with these videos. However, a comment on my last uh, clean out two weeks ago uh, said that he really enjoyed it and he liked seeing what I'm selling. So I'm going to continue doing these. Uh, I'm going to make them with two weeks in between each other. So it's not going to be every single week, but uh, with two weeks between each. Um, also, another comment uh, I got asked uh, how often I post and if I do cancel scans. Uh, first off, I do not do cancel scans. Uh, I have never really done cancel scans. Uh, the reason being is it takes ages for me to cancel all my auctions. Um, both I have a lot, and I don't know if there's anything wrong with my like TSM, internet, computer, or anything else like that. It just takes forever to do it. So I never do cancel scans. I cannot be bothered. I would rather spend my time farming something else or doing something else. So never cancel scans. In terms of posting my auctions, uh, I used to post them with either uh, 24 hours or 12 hours, depending on how much time I had. Uh, now I'm posting for 48 hours. Uh, the reason being is because I have 2.4k items right now, 2,400 items currently on the auction house. So posting also takes me about almost two hours probably. Um, so having to do that either twice a day, if I could, with the 12 hours, or every single day with 24 hours uh, it just takes too much time of uh, out of my days to um yeah to, to just sit here on the auction house and posting so therefore i opted it to 48 hours um yeah that just makes more sense to me even though on my server there's a lot of competition so i could probably just post them for 12 hours and then just post them every two days and that will probably sell the same pretty much um because if i don't sell them in the first like three or four hours probably i've probably been undercut on most items anyways uh, however i just like it to be on there for 48 hours um i don't feel like it, it it feels like it's not wasted and i do sell occasionally even though they're uh, it's very like the first few hours i sell the most and then after that just goes down tremendously but um yeah 48 hours never cancel scans if you have lesser auctions than me you can do 24 hours or 12 hours uh, depending on how much time you have and what you want uh for me obviously it would be best to do it every 12 hours uh and then it might even be even better to do a cancel scan uh, halfway through the uh the 12 hours because that's how much competitive uh, like competition there is on my server uh, i can't have my item up on the ocean house for very long before they have been undercut um but yeah i still sell decent and i don't really need the gold anymore since i did make the gold cap so uh, um, 48 hours just makes sense to me. But with that being said, let's jump into the mailbox and let's actually see what I've sold uh, for the past two weeks and how many items I've also sold. Because, uh, whoops, as you can see here, I've sold 351 auctions. Let me actually just raise it a little bit so you can actually see it. Uh, 351 auctions uh, for the past two weeks, um, which is pretty decent. Uh, it's almost, well, it's 48 uh or 49 auctions off from being 200 auctions a week which is pretty decent uh if if you ask me however the hunt the first hundred showing is only 100k gold which is not great it's like on average it's a thousand gold a piece which is not good uh, it's, it's all right i guess but it's, it's not amazing uh, but let, let's just go through them and let's see if there's anything worth mentioning um, we have a bindings on, uh, of lightning reflexes. Um, that is a crafted. Um, I'm pretty sure it's from leatherworking. Uh, it's a braces at least. Uh, and the same with these here, actually, the Fletcher's glove of the Phoenix. They are also crafting from uh, leatherworking. So um, yeah, off right off the bat, leatherworking is doing well. And I know for a fact that I have another one of these down here uh, in these hundred auctions here for twelve as well. So, uh, yeah, that's good. Uh, leatherworking, crafting, doing well there. Then there's just a lot of lot. 
of minor cells. Uh, a lot of these are actually also crafted. Like this one is crafted, crafted, dreadful. The bronze shoulders, the green silken shoulders, uh, heavy scale shirt, silk headband, hillsman shoulders. All of these are pretty much crafted. Uh, like a lot of them are crafted. Uh, but if I make a profit on them, I'll I'll even if this costs like five gold to to, to craft. I sell it for 10 gold, it's a 5 gold a profit increase and I can just craft another one and then sell it again. So therefore, you will see a lot of these small sales, but that is because I'm basically crafting everything that I can. Here we have the uh, Fletcher's uh, Glove of the Phoenix again for 12k. Then we have some Lightning Infused Leggings for 4.4k. What we have, we have Styling Purple Hat, which is also from Leatherworking Crafting. The same with the Styling Jungle Hat. Uh, these are recipes you can farm in various places. Uh, they sell really, really well. The, the sell rate on them is just really good. So, um, yeah, nice to see if, if even more of those sold. I've sold a lot of these uh, lately. Or, well, just over the time since I've farmed those recipes. So, they're doing really well, actually. Uh, we got a Demon Steel Breastplate. This is uh, a, a blacksmithing crafting from Legion, I believe um not the best i mean it takes a little bit of effort to actually craft it because you have to um like go to different places to to get the materials or to make the materials to and to even craft it um so yeah not the best price for that one but uh it will take it then we have a tuss tussle tussle for rope i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing that correctly i'm pretty sure this is a farm one i'm not sure whether uh like where i farmed it though but i'm pretty sure it's from uh from the classic one of the classic dungeons that i've been farming i've done all of the classic dungeons a hundred times now so i'm pretty sure it's from one of those uh don't hang me up on it though um i could be wrong but uh, i feel like it's it should be from one of those but a 21.5k 21 uh so that's the <laughs> that's pretty good uh that's probably the best sell in this this loot out here uh yes it is um and other than that, we only have the uh, Titan Steel uh, piece here for 8.4. Uh, the Titan Steel piece is also doing pretty well. Um, they're quite expensive to make. I don't know what the prices of the uh, Titan Steel bars at the moment is. But um, usually they are pretty high. And yeah, I mean, the, the, the Titan Steel pieces do sell. Uh, it's very good transmog pieces. They do have a, a decent sell rate for crafting transmog uh however like the profit you make from each piece is not amazing because the materials you need for it is quite well it can be expensive at least um but yeah 100 auctions almost 100 gold 99 gold 99k gold sorry um so yeah let's loot out the 100 there and then let's look at the next one the next 100 auctions um hopefully we should be able to get a little bit more um well if from the next hundred because uh that was pretty poor uh we already have more now i think yeah well we still have a need to load a little bit more but um it's already is it's already more now and that's only showing 77 right now but um let's see 145 for the next 100 auctions uh so not a lot better only 40 45 46k gold more um but yeah, let's let's go through them anyways. Um, let's see if there's anything worth mentioning. I mean, just a that's a toy there, but uh, just a bunch of minor crafted. I think that's a sh shield that I farmed recently in one of the dungeons that's crafted as well. Oh, we got some interesting down here though. Uh, we got a schematic, the flash bomb for fifty k gold. Uh, which I farm from uh, Gnome Regan, uh, one of the dungeons I've recently done. Uh, I think in the video, it was actually way less uh, than it sold for here, actually. I think it was probably only like uh, in between 10 and 20k gold, but it sold for 50k gold here, so um, that's good. And the supercharged battle axe is also from uh, the Gnome Regan dungeon or, that I've recently done. Again, I don't think the price was even 30k in the video, but um, it sold for 30k, so I'm happy with that. Uh, what else do we have? We have the Leather Gauntlets of the Sun. I've actually sold a few of these uh, lately, and uh, you can see the doubles sold here. 
I think the reason why they're selling it, the same with the Fletcher's, Fletcher's glove uh, of the Phoenix, is because um, someone has dragged the prices up tremendously, so it looks like to be like 400, 500k. Uh, and then when I post them for 15k, it, it shows as a snap, or you can snipe it. Um, so I think that might be one of the reasons why people are actually buying them now. Um, because I've never sold any of these in my whole road to 10 million gold, which took like 40 weeks. And now I've sold like four in the last three cleanouts, I believe, which is like eight, no, seven weeks, I think. Uh, so yeah, I think it's because of that, that the price is like really, really high. And then I've posted it way less, but I still make a profit. I think I probably make uh, like 12K profit on these one. I think they, they cost like three or 4K to make. So it's ridiculous to post them for 500,000 anyways and um, when you still make profit if you even sell it for 10k so uh, yeah i think I, I, that could be a reason i'm i could be mistaken as well there but um um i have a suspicion that that might be one of the cases why they're actually selling so but i'm happy uh it's 30k there for two gondas that i can just craft again uh in well in the few hours when i've done posting this one so yeah, only the, actually four items here that is worth mentioning. Uh, we did also have, what was it here? Our purple loaded. That is just flowers that I've farmed from uh, the Meriden. No, Meriden? Yeah, Meriden run that I did. Um, I probably got it from there, but um, yeah, not that interesting. But 140, 45 for the, that 100 auctions there. So we are like 245 now. We better get something better here. Oh, that's even worse. Oh my god. <laughs> well, uh, 300 auctions, 300k gold um, is what we're going to look at. I don't think there's anything interesting here. Uh, what we have, a belt. I think that's a, that's a crafted. Uh, f probably from um, a leather working I, again, I think. Um, Blotch Gulp Channeling Starf. Hard for me to say. Uh, it's a say rare specific. That's not what it. That's not what it is. It's a specific. Um, what you call it? It's it. It drops from a specific zone called um Strand Northern Strand and Thorn Wales, and it only drops from one mob. It's a zone specific. That's the word I was looking for. It's a zone specific um weapon. Uh, and Strand and Thorn Northern Strand and Thorn Wales have a. A handful i think i have like five or six items from that zone which you can farm uh from different mobs there which only drops from those mobs uh, in that zone so um well once i like when i farmed it and when i actually got it i think it was over 100k or probably something about 70 80k uh, but it's only sold for 5k so that's a bit of a bummer but um yeah you can look up the price on your server it's really good uh you can obviously go farm it it's quite hard to get this one here but there is a few other items in that zone from various mobs that are pretty decent and sell pretty well i probably should go farm some more of them actually um but other than that again nothing interesting we got a rope here which is crafted we've got a recipe we've got some flowers we've got some more flowers yeah nothing interesting in those 100 auctions that is a bomber man that is actually sad to see 100 auctions and you only make 45k gold that is poor that is actually poor um but yeah let's see uh the last what 51 auctions now and then uh <laughs> why is this so bad i haven't even made a thousand gold per auctions in this uh clean out man that is that is poor. That is really bad. Okay, what do we have here? Dragon scale leggings crafted from leatherworking. The phantom blade is crafted from blacksmithing. The sunforge braces is crafted from blacksmithing. Oh my god. That is so bad. I thought I I, I was looking at these auctions saying 351 auctions. Yes, that's a lot of auctions. I should make a fortune here. But I haven't even made three i haven't even made four hundred thousand gold uh, we can see it here in the chat uh in a little bit when i actually exit the mailbox it will show the total value of everything that i looted a 337 
almost 30. <laughs> that is so bad, man. Wow. For two weeks, and I only sold for 400k. That is only one. No, that is not even a wild WoW token, I believe. What is a WoW token at the moment? I can't even buy a WoW token for two weeks of sales with 2.4k items on the auction house. That is really, really bad. Um, well, well, I'm probably like, I'm just as surprised as you are probably because I was actually not, I didn't think it would be this bad. I saw the auctions. I was like, okay, that's a lot of auction. that got to be something worth talking about in there. But uh, not even 340k gold. That is horrible. Um, but yeah, there you have it. A lot of crafting, crafting actually. There was only two items from Gnome Regan that sold, which is, um, which which was good. Uh, other than that, it was actually crafting uh, most of it that uh, that I sold for higher value. So um, yeah, crafting is crafting is still doing well. Uh, I'm just gonna craft some more and post on the auction house again, and hopefully they will sell as well. But that was it for this video. Uh, that was it for this clean out. Um, two weeks of sales, 340k gold. A horrible uh, numbers there. Not even 1,000 gold per auction. So that was pretty bad. But um, it is what it is. And um, as I said in towards the beginning, I don't really need the gold anymore. So um, yeah, it's all good. But um, if you liked it, make sure you leave it a like. Um, comment what item you would like to farm or what items you are selling and uh, make sure you subscribe as well because uh, obviously i will be coming I'll be, be making more of these videos the the clean outs but i will also make other content also going into dragonflight we will be looking at probably some gold farming in there uh, um i will also be streaming once we get closer to the dragonflight expansion so um Make sure you go check both out both my YouTube channel already and subscribe to it, and then go check out my Twitch when uh, when we get closer. But for now, and for this video, I'm gonna sign off and I'm gonna say goodbye and have a lovely day. Bye bye.